Kenyan President uh, Uhuru Kenyatta has uh, ordered a mourning period to honor the late uh, former President Mwai Kibaki, uh, during which uh, flags will be flown at uh, half-mast. The late President is credited with reviving Kenya's uh, then ailing economy. Let's uh, get more on the story then. We cross to our correspondent uh, in Kenya, Sarah Kimani. A very good afternoon to you, uh, Sarah. Of course, uh, news coming in that uh, the former President uh, Mwai Kibaki is uh, now late. How has this news been received? on the back, of course, of people contemplating the fact that he is, of course, uh, credited with reviving what was uh, Kenya's sluggish economy, but on the back of the fact that, uh, you know, there, were, there was some violence, post-violence elections uh, during 2007, which many did uh, blame him for. What is being said? Well, uh, the, most of the people that we have spoken uh -uh. to are shocked and sad and most of them saying that they will miss his legacy He's saying uh, up to now as uh, his leadership president kibaki's rule uh, leadership is unmatched and most of them saying that uh, he led the country uh, with passionate and as a patriot and was able to steer the country forward at a time when many people expected uh, not less than that yeah, we heard the Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta mentioning the fact that, or saying that, you know, his leadership uh, will inspire uh, generations of uh, Kenyans for uh, many years uh, to come. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about his leadership style, and certainly how many Kenyans would then be remembering that uh, leadership style. Well, uh, what President Kibaki was is that. Uh, he was a leader more than a politician and so uh, in terms of how he led the country a trained economist uh, he was able to speak less and do more for example one of the campaign pledges that he managed uh, to fulfill was that he would revive the country's economy and he managed to do that at the time that uh, uh, he uh, took over power the gdp of the country the growth was at 0.6 percent mm. by the time he was leaving uh the gdp growth was at five percent and he was able to steer the country uh from uh, borrowing to support the country's budget he was able to increase the amount of revenue that the country was able to collect through taxes but maybe some people you that will sound very high up there there are those kenyans in the lower echelons of society who will remember him for having been able to take their children to school free of charge, yeah. many of whom would not have been able to uh, get education. There was a campaign pledge of free education which he managed to achieve. Let's talk about his uh, entry, you know, into uh, politics. As I assume today, you know, while we reflect on his life, people would be then talking about uh, his history and, and, you know, apart from the type of president that he was, of course, he would have had a life uh, prior to becoming a uh, uh, president. What, what, what can you tell us? Well, uh, before becoming uh, president, he served as a minister for health in the 70s and the 80s. He also served as the minister for finance and is credited again during that time for steering the country's economy. He also served as a vice president uh, during President Moi. He was a vice president uh, to President Moi. Mm. And then from there, he resigned. Uh, from uh, the, the, the uh, President Moy's government uh, to join the opposition. And it's during then that he started the push together with others like uh, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga to push for multipartism in the country. Yeah. Well, what are the other, you know, we're hearing uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta talking about, you know, flags being flown at half, uh, half mast and, of course, no doubt a uh, state uh, funeral that will be granted to him. But what else uh, is being done in uh, Kenya as the news uh, comes? comes in in honor of uh, the late uh, former president. What we saw immediately after the news of his death was announced, uh, people, politicians, uh, went to his home here in Nairobi. Some of them also went to the funeral home where his remains are expected to be laid. And it is there that we managed to speak to our former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, who remembered him as a hardworking Kenyan. And he said that uh, President Kibaki will be remembered for having steered the country's infrastructure development uh, towards uh, a level that had not seen before. And that he says also managed to steer the country's economic uh, development further. Uh, it, it is very, Kibaki was a very close person. So even those who have gone to his home here in Nairobi have not managed to see anything that uh, his place is closed they're not able to speak to him mm. to to uh, his relatives 
or anybody, much of what we will hear will probably come from the Kenyan presidency's office. All right, uh, Sarah Kimani, thanks very much uh, for that. Uh, that's our Kenyan correspondent uh, there, Sarah Kimani, reflecting, of course, on uh, the death of uh, the late former president of uh, Kenya, Mwai Kibaki. All right, we're going to take a short break. Uh, we'll be back after this.